I just watched the new Little Mermaid movie and I want to talk about it. So before we get into this, um, I have my fan going because it's super hot and I don't have air conditioning. I've also got notes here on my laptop because I don't trust myself to remember things that I want to say. So I have all my notes down here. So if I'm looking down, that's why. So let's start off with all the good things I liked about this movie. I felt like the new songs were really well made and they made sense in the context of the film. They added a new one for Eric and then they added um I think one more for Ariel and there may have been another one that they added but they all made sense. They were all really good. Um, I think a lot of people have some issues with whenever the remakes add a new song to the musical. Um, because a lot of the times it does mess with the flow of the movie. It, it just doesn't feel like it's supposed to be there. But these really didn't inhibit the flow of the movie. I felt like they made sense. They were really good. Another thing I really liked was the animals. Uh, they looked real, but there was just something off about them. So it kind of had some Uncanny Valley vibes. However, I did get used to them pretty fast. Once you get used to them, they're really funny. And the voice actors did a really great job. I really liked Scuttle. thought she was really funny. Um, she was played by Aquafina, I think is her name. Uh, she did a really good job with that. I liked, I liked the animals. I also really appreciated Hallie's performance as Ariel. She did a really good job with the princess mannerisms and, and acting like a princess. I felt like she did a really good job with that. And she has a phenomenal voice as well. So that was one thing I really loved about the movie. Another thing is I thought Ursula was great. Melissa McCarthy? Nobody told me you could sing. The underwater scenes were very vibrant and beautiful. Especially um, the under the sea number was really well done. It reminded me a little bit of Finding Nemo with... Um, they incorporated some jellyfish in there and it reminded me of the jellyfish scene in Finding Nemo. I really liked that. The sea creatures were colorful. The ocean reef was colorful. Um, one concern I had going into this movie was that it was just going to be very dull. Um, it was going to lack color and vibrancy. But that wasn't the case thankfully. I feel like a lot of issues with the new remakes is the fact that they just look dull and sad, you know? So I'm glad that they didn't follow that trend. So now let's talk about the bad parts of the movie. Um, the first thing is that in the beginning of the movie, when you see all of the mermaids, they look really stiff. Their upper bodies specifically look really stiff. The tails, they did a really good job of making them flow because like with mermaids, you want them to look like they're following the flow of the water. They're supposed to be very graceful and flowy, you know? And I felt like they did a good job with the tails. It looked really good. But the top half of their body was super stiff for the most part. And my cousin and I, we looked at each other and she was like, these, the mermaids kind of look like Barbies. And I'm like, they do. That was the perfect way to describe it. They look like Barbies. <laughs> However, I will say that Ariel... They did a little bit of a better job with Ariel and having her, you know, move her arms a little bit better. And I don't even know how they made this movie. Were they in water? Were they not? What was, What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, it, they just didn't look right. Ariel did look better. But the rest of the mermaids, they were, they were really stiff. Another thing that I thought was kind of odd was the costume design. And I'm not talking about the mermaids. They looked pretty. Um, I'm mostly talking about, like, the humans on land. Everything looked good, but I had my concerns going into it. Before the movie came out, there was a picture that Disney had posted, and it was of Ariel in the blue dress. And the blue dress was cropped, and it made her look like a child. I'll put the picture here if I can find it. And thankfully, during the movie, I didn't really notice it, but it's something that I was concerned a little bit going into it. like. How is the costume design going to be? Maybe that was an intentional choice because she's new to this world. So she's naive and she is young, you know. So maybe they wanted to make her look more childlike. But I didn't really like it. She was wearing boots 
a lot of the time she was wearing that dress so that helped a lot it made her look a little bit less like a child but it was just kind of kind of a weird look and she didn't get the shimmer dress you know the dress when Ariel comes out of the water after her father decides that it's okay for her to be human or whatever she comes out of the water in this beautiful like gown and it's sparkly and it's so pretty uh, she didn't really get that moment so I'm kind of sad about it like I wish they could have designed you know a different dress but have sort of like elements of that dress in it she also didn't get the wedding dress you know with the huge poofy sleeves on these sleeves were the size of Ariel's head but she didn't get that dress as well I think the only dresses we ever saw her in was the blue dress and a light pink dress that was it so, I wish we could have gotten more from the costume department, but it is what it is. Overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was pretty well made. There was some, you know, little things here and there that I was like, hmm. But for the most part, it was good. And yeah, that's my review of the new Little Mermaid movie. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!